Hello there, so I am finally back from the UK. If you didn't know, I've actually been in the UK for the past couple of weeks and I have actually mostly grown up in the US. And I know a lot of people, even though I keep clarifying this, keep saying to me, Chloe, I thought you were British. I am British, but I just don't live in Britain. And because I don't live in Britain doesn't mean I'm not still British, okay? Case closed. Now I've always loved art, but I actually didn't get into it properly until I was like 16. And when I was 16, I didn't live in Britain either. So I had never been in a British art shop before. Um, so as a result, when I went back, I bought some British art supplies and I thought it would be really, really fun to try them out in a video. but I just thought it'd be fun to give it a go. So hopefully you enjoy the video and let's go. Today, we are gonna be painting a wonky wooden house. It's got a little door that works. So you can open and shut it and just hide all your worries inside. It's supposed to be a wooden fairy house, but it's not gonna be a wary house. A wary house, a wary house. It is a wary house, beware, stay away. I'm not gonna make it a fairy house. Um, I'm probably gonna make it something a bit more interesting than that. Is there anything more interesting than a fairy house? Probably not, Never mind. So my mum spotted this in a shop called The Works, and The Works is basically a shop that has creative stuff for creative people. So like they've got books, they've got journaling stuff, art material, that type of thing. Also in The Works, I got this set of paintbrushes, which was, dun dun dun, if I can never find, there's the price, six pounds. Ten. Okay, there are ten brushes in here and a canvas bag to hold them. So for six pounds, that is a bargain. And lastly, the paint. So if you're not from the UK, this bag was from a shop called Primark. I initially bought this bag as like a pencil case type thing, but look, it's like a TARDIS because look how much. Oh, drops there. So my friend Jamie actually uses these paints. They're really, really good. They're only two pounds though, and they're known as craft paints, but honestly, they're really good. I managed to use some of hers when I was at her house the other day, and I was just so impressed that I wanted to bring some back with me. Yeah, oops. Oh, look how fancy. Oh wait, hang on, it's the label. I was wondering where that went. See, eight pounds, not bad. So I took to Instagram, which by the way, you should definitely follow me on Instagram because um, I would really appreciate it. Basically I went on Instagram and I asked what I should paint with this and I got a bunch of different suggestions by people. These two suggestions were actually my ultimate favourite. So it was either between a Hogsmeade house from Harry Potter or a Br'er Rabbit house from Splash Mountain at Disney. And so far, Hogsmeade is winning. I need some water. I'm gonna use this as a water container to reuse the massive amount of plastic that I feel guilty for using right now. So first thing I'm gonna do is gesso it because I feel like it and that's what you're supposed to do. Oh, I've just flicked paint in myself. That was probably a record for me. That was what, 0.2 seconds? So, whilst you painstakingly watch me paint a wonky wooden house with gesso, I thought I'd let you know that today's video is being kindly sponsored by Wix. Now, Wix is a professional and really robust website building platform, and it's actually the website builder that I use for my website, artofclayrose.com. Um, I've also turned a lot of my friends onto it as well because I love using Wix, especially 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 to sell my artwork without fees like other websites that you sell your artwork on usually you have to pay a small fee and it's like you don't sh you shouldn't have to do that so wix is really good for that it's so cool look at me i have my own add to cart option and have a cart how cool is that on my website it's so professional much professional um you can use it for a like a portfolio if you want to do that as well you can use it as a blog or you can even use it as just an about me resume type website basically anything for your brand in particular but for me personally the e-commerce store part is just my favorite um, I can't recommend it enough if you're an artist or a brand looking for a website, which by the way is vital if you're an artist. So it's really, really quick. It has drag and drop tools so no coding is needed. They also have hundreds and hundreds of templates and unlimited pages all for free. But if you do choose to upgrade to one of their premium plans, you can get 15% off with my code CHLOERose15. Link is in the description. Um, I also love it's totally customizable as well. So I basically used a template on my website then totally changed it so it would be unique and I still didn't have to code a thing, so that was a bonus. So thank you so much to Wix for sponsoring this video. Definitely check out the link in the description and I will let you carry on watching me gesso a house. This wooden sign is a bit of a pain in the backside, isn't it? 
You know, it's probably fitting that I paint Harry Potter on this house, considering I'm using British art supplies. And I don't think you can get anything more British than Harry Potter. I mean, you could probably paint Buckingham Palace, but I mean, I think at this point, Harry Potter's actually more of a national treasure than the Buckingham Palace. <laughs> I've got some very heavy concentration going on here, so I don't have any weird globs that just dry nasty, because that really winds me up. Don't even think about it. Don't you dare. Okay, he's nice and gessoed now. Gesso, I mean, Gesso, I am going to add some bricks. I didn't get a yellow. I am such an idiot. I literally got every colour under the sun and multiple shades of the same colour, but I didn't get a yellow. But that's fine. We'll work around it. Oh, I like that. It looks really hodgepodge like the rest of it. Still not quite sure what I'm going to do with the roof yet. Maybe this is... Could it be snow? Maybe this will be snow, actually. I'll think about it. It's pretty much just a process of drawing little squares and rectangles. Not that hard. You just got to plan it well. And that's about it. This is my first time painting bricks, so I don't really have a lot of experience to share. These little crevices are the bane of my existence. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do the little window frame. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a green colour. So it's kind of like the Honeydukes building. You know what? This paint is actually really nice. Like, I'm covering it once and it pretty much covers right away. Like, in comparison to, like, the Apple Barrel paint, this is way better. It's a similar consistency, but it just definitely works way better. They're so pigment- wow, there's a word I've not said for a while. They're so pigmented. So pigmented. I don't know if I should make these pink. Since the Honeydukes building is pink and green, do I make that green too? That's the question. Maybe not. Okay. Oh look, I magically found a yellow paint. This is definitely not Apple Barrel paint uh, because I forgot to buy a yellow paint in the UK. It is a PBO paint. PBO paint. I promise. Okay, everyone look away. Everyone look away. Everyone look away. Okay, it's gone. Fabulous, we've got some green in there. Just what I wanted on my brass doorknob. I think I'm gonna paint this hinge green, to be honest, so it matches the door. Yeah, that's better, okay. I'm gonna add some dinginess to it now with the brown because Everything in Harry Potter looks old, which pretty much all British buildings, to be honest, but Harry Potter in particular, everything looks really old and decrepit. So I need to try to make that. I've got a text. Does that look dingy? Yeah, it kind of does. That's good. Okay, that'll do. Let's adds like 5,663 more squares to the front, shall we? Okay, so I know this could technically be classed as cheating, but they sold Posca markers in the UK, and I know they're Japanese, but they did sell them from the UK art shops. And I also didn't technically buy any um, because I already have some Posca markers, but I might actually just use a black marker to fill in these lines. Like, is that cheating? It kind of is, I suppose, but I don't have any black paint. I didn't pick any up because I didn't think I'd use it. I hardly ever use black paint anymore, so. Okay. Let's get in there. I think I'm gonna paint the sign pink. I think that's what I'm gonna do. The sign is a pain in the butt. 
Seriously though, I am absolutely loving this paint. I really wish that they sold it in the US because I genuinely would use this all the time if they did. Next time we go back to the UK though, I'll have to stock up on it more. Or just force my friends to bring it over for me. Ha 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 ha. I mean, why, why, why? Why do I do stuff like that? Yes, okay, it's done. Right, so the sides I'm gonna be super, super lazy and now I'm just gonna paint this one color because I can't be bothered to do that again. Somehow I've got orange on this side. Don't really know how that's possible, but there we go. Okay, so I appear to have lost my black Posca marker, so I'm using an Edding 2200C pen, which hopefully was also sold in the UK, but I'm not really sure. It's not going to work, is it? Because I need a paintbrush, really. This isn't working. I'm going to have to get black paint. Damn! Okay, I found some black paint. Um, this does say Hobby Lobby on it, but I did actually see it in the UK, so it still counts. How am I supposed to work with this? No! I feel like the wobbly black lines are actually adding to it, so I think it'll be okay. Although this is pretty tedious, it's actually quite enjoyable. If it's gonna look any good when it's done, but I'm hoping it will. Also, I'm really heavily leaning on this door right now and I hope the hinge is stronger than I think it is. We'll see what happens. Okay, so the reason why I was in the UK was because I was back, I was invited to an event in the UK called Summer in the City. Um, and my friend, her husband actually is um, the runner of it so he really kindly invited me and I was on a couple of panels which was really really cool um, one of them was an art panel and I got to meet Siren or Laura Bowers um, which was so exciting because I just love her work and I also am probably one of the highlights I was on the the stage with my friend Jamie and we had uh, Brizzy Voices and Tessa Netting and then a couple of others as well um, and Jamie was kind of Bob Ross directing us how to actually paint something. Like we didn't know what she was painting. She was turned away from us and she was like, right, you draw a triangle, an upside down V. And I was like, okay, this is good. She's she's painting some mountains. So I, for 15 minutes, it's a 15 minute challenge, right? And I'm there and I'm like going away, painting the mountains with the color she's telling us to use. And 15 minutes is up. So obviously we didn't have long at all. I look around at hers. She's drawn the Hogwarts castle. And I've drawn a mountain, <laughs> so I got it totally wrong. So it makes me feel like maybe I'll do some of those challenges on here. If you guys would like to see that, do let me know. But I met so many wonderful people. Some people that were there, they said they watched my videos, which I am... It's so surreal to me that people watch my videos. I see them in real life. And it's just so unbelievably surreal to me when I actually am able to put, like, a face to some of your lovely comments um, and I don't know it's just so surreal that I get to meet people that watch my videos and I just really really am so humbled by it and overjoyed by it so if you were at Summer in the City and we saw each other thank you so much for honestly making my weekend so special great okay so basically the rest of the time me painting this house was me watching it dry and go oh no it's getting dark. The colours were kind of getting a bit darker and muddier than what I was hoping they would be. And I was kind of expecting this because I was warned of it that they can dry either lighter or darker. So basically I just kept repainting over the squares until it kind of looked a little bit lighter. Don't know if I succeeded, but honestly, that's the only issue I have with this paint because it was really good paint considering it was like a cheaper brand. I thought it was really good personally. Um, but yeah, other than that, I've got the pink sign. I wrote Honey Dukes on it. Okay, I, che I cheated a little bit. I got a Posca marker that was green that technically I didn't buy from that British art shop. And also I know they are Japanese. But I was I needed to do the little highlights on the door and write Honey Dukes on the sign. So there we go. I also did a little bit of snow on the side of the roof to try and look like it was like dripping, falling down the roof. Don't know if it was, if it, I did it that well, but I tried. Um, but other than that, I, I kind of am really happy with how it turned out in the end. It could be better if I spent more time on it, but I will. Um, I'd love to know what you think as well. Let me know in the comments down below. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I am doing a giveaway of art supplies there. So, yeah. 
thank you so much for watching this video i really hope that you enjoyed it thank you to wix for sponsoring today's video as well um i think that's it for today so thank you for watching take care of yourselves and i will see you in the next video